Another new feature we added uh, along the lines of module design is the ability to work uh, with cadence, specter, co-simulation. So in this example project, what we did is we took a cadence design, which was created in a silicon process, and we brought in a translation of that into AWR. So after you've made a translation of the PDK and bring that PDK into AWR, you can take your Spectre net list and automatically translate that so it becomes an AWR schematic element. So that, that schematic element just show, shows up here as a library. So first thing we would do is we go into the, pro the library for the process itself, and that's where we can drop in a pr the process definition. And that allows us to choose things like process corners for that process. So if we wanted to use you know, fast corners, nominal corners, or slow corners, we can choose that there. Uh, this already exists in this schematic, so I'll delete that one I just added. And then what we can do is we go down to the mimic category, and here's the mimic we designed and we can just drop that in as a schematic element. Now here on the right, this is the same schematic element that I have here, just with the fancier symbol. And here's what the layout of that looks like. And if we wanted to go ahead and do a 3D rendering of that, of that chip, we can do that as well. It's a little slow because it's a couple of hundred thousand shapes, but it'll show up. And then once we have this schematic element placed, it's just like any other AWR schematic element. We can put ports on it and run a simulation on it. So if we hit simulate, then it just runs our Applac simulator in the background and we get our results. And in this case, we're running um, a nonlinear simulation and we're looking at uh, output power performance on the graph. And so here we have output we have gain, we have output power, and we have PAE versus input power. So a very simple way to combine different technologies. We have a silicon process uh, from a PDK in Cadence, a design that was done in Cadence and can easily bring it into AWR to do co-simulation, for example, at the module level. And that is it for our improvements in AWR v13 for module designs.